Okay, yes, I've been a real slacker with my YouTube channel, keeping it up to date. Um, I've got a huge backlog of videos to upload on car and farm and various other crap, so I'll get there eventually. Um, it's that silly season time of year. Um, and unfortunately, between keeping this place running, uh, maintaining some sort of a social life, uh, family, relationship, friends, blah blah blah. Hasn't left me with a whole lot of free time, but um, I'll get there eventually. Um, so a fair bit has happened, uh, as a few people know already. Subaru engine number three, um, the EJ25. Has actually been in and running since uh, September. <laughs> That's how slack I've been. Um, I've been very slack actually with a lot of things. Poor little bug is uh, just being used, used, used and neglected. <laughs> um, I've just been flat out. My other two cars, the Nissan and the Green Goober hiding over the back there. And you had to give them some attention. Uh, and the farm. <laughs> Still got several ton of fertilizer to put out. But anyway, my poor bug. I need to treat it to some Christmas love. Because uh, it's looking very used at the moment. Maybe not at first glance, but when you look closely... Absolutely covered in bug splats. Mismatch rims. What do we got? Speedy light sevens on the back. Schneider Atex on the front. <laughs> Lots of more bug splats and dirt and all sorts of crap. And... A pretty dirty engine bay. Anyway, it's just been on the road constantly. This new engine has got over 5,000 kilometres on it now. I've been doing about 300 kilometres a week on it at the moment. But, uh, yeah, so the EJ22 that I used to have in there, um, it was still running fine. Um, Nothing actually wrong with it, but uh, you can never have enough power. <laughs> I had looked at turbocharging it, uh, started doing that, but it just got too hard. So I decided to just go bigger engine instead. Um, a lot of people say just put a WRX motor straight in, but there is a huge amount of work in doing that. Uh, <clears throat> What I like about the non-turbo single cam and uh, single overhead cam engines is um, they just fit straight in. Absolutely no bodywork, bar a uh, little bit of valance or apron trimming. Uh, but yeah, firewall is completely untouched. No cutting out bumper mounts, etc., etc. Um, but if anyone knows their Subaru engines, the EJ25s are a lot wider. So any Subaru experts out there are probably looking saying that does not look like a EJ25. Well, uh, sort of true, but it really is a 25, but I did some mods to it. It's got the... Uh, the heads on it are off my old EJ22. That's why it fits so well. The EJ25s have a lot bigger, chunkier heads. So it's a uh, 2005 EJ254 bottom end, uh, all completely rebuilt. Um, and it's got the reconditioned EJ22 heads off my old EJ22 so bolted straight back in used all the uh, existing 
manifold and electrical and crap like that off my EJ22 so really you could just say it's a stroked out EJ22 <laughs> board to EJ uh, board to 2.5 litre um, big power improvement it's a step up of about 40 35 to 40 horsepower so she's in the 170 to 180 horsepower range we don't know exactly uh, it's a bit more than your average uh, EJ25 because the heads have bumped the compression ratio up a bit more than normal it's now uh, 10.4 from memory um, so it's a little step up in horsepower but that extra stroke just makes for a huge torque increase it's about 230 newton meters I think uh, I'm not good with figures uh, of torque now so it pulls like a freight train up hills and that never have to worry about dropping back a gear and amazingly it has been so good on fuel I thought it would be a very thirsty monster with that bigger engine but um, still averaging uh, 9 litres per 100 or I think that's about 32 mile per gallon which is not bad for triple the original horsepower um, so yeah I got to do some more videos of it, maybe, maybe in action. Um, gotta want to do some videos on the cooling system and crap like that. But uh, yeah, there's my other new toy, my uh, digital head-up display. I need to need to make a video on that too. I'll get there eventually. Oh yeah, and it does also have one other thing. Listen to my awesome new starter motor. Subaru starter motor. <laughs> awesome. The uh, standard VW one was struggling a bit with a 2.5 litre 16 valve engine. But anyway, there you have it. Alive and kicking.